Hey, and welcome back to another video. And today is day 21 of the 31 day challenge. And we are going to be talking about nested chatting in Autogen. So in this diagram, the thing about nested chatting is it's just another way to organize how your agents interact with each other. Let's take this example where we have three total agents. We have user, writer, and critic. Now on the right here, I have snippets of code of what it would look like. You're used to the user proxy initiate chat. The recipient is who the user proxy is going to initiate the chat with. Well, this time we're going to initiate the chat with the writer and the message is going to be some task. This is something that you'll see in the code that we give it. You see that we initiate the chat with the writer. However, we also have a, another agent called critic. Well, before this, we're going to say user proxy dot register nested chats. And we're gonna say the recipient is the critic and the trigger is the writer. What that means is after the user is done talking to the writer, whenever that chat is triggered, when they're done, then the user proxy is gonna start talking to the critic. So the flow is the user is gonna talk to the writer, the writer will give something back from the LLM call back to the user, and then because the user initiated the chat with the writer, this triggered the nested chat with the critic. So now the user proxy is going to start talking with the critic. And here we only have a max turn of one. So they'll just talk one time to each other. And then once that's done, then the user will again talk to the writer. Then we're going to be done. We're inserting a sub chat inside of the agent chat. So the critic is never going to talk directly back to the writer. It's just, it's just going to be the user talking to the critic. Let's go over the code and see how it looks. Now with the code, we're going to only have two different files. We're going to have the main Python file and then the configless JSON file. So with the main Python file, we're just going to be importing this JSON. We set the LLM to the config list. Our simple task is to write a concise but engaging blog post about meta. Now again, we have three agents. So we have the writer agent with a system message about them being a professional writer. We have a user proxy agent which if there is any code execution, it's going to create a directory called my underscore code and store it there. And then we have the critic and the critic just is uh, known for the thoroughness and commitment to the standards. Basically, they're just going to critique what the writer has to say. I'll come back to, I'll come back to this reflection message in a second once we go over the nested chat. So before we initiate the chat, we're going to register nested chats with the user proxy agent. So the recipient again is going to be the critic. The message is going to be the reflection message. And what this is going to be doing is going to call this method up here. It's going to return reflect and provide critique on the following writing. And we're going to take the recipient dot chat messages for summary from the sender and get the content. This is basically taking what the writer gives to the user proxy as added context to the critic. And then we say trigger equals writer. So the way this is going to get triggered is only when the user proxy initiates a chat with the writer. And then we have user proxy dot initiate chat. So the user proxy is going to initiate chat with the writer and the task from above where it creates a blog post about meta. So let's run this and see what it does. It finished, now let's see how this was done. So it started with the user talking to the writer, which we know with the message about creating a blog post with meta. Then the writer came back to the user and created this blog post with a title. And now again, because that was triggering the nested chat because the nested chat trigger was the writer. So when the user proxy talked to the writer, now we're gonna start a new chat. So up here in the print statement, so we say reflecting now, reflecting now and then we're going to start a new chat is reflect and provide critique on the following writing which, which you see up here and then we also got the summary or basically the the last message that was written to the user so from the writer to the user and that's added context here so we're saying user to the critic reflect and provide critique on the following writing. Then the critique is gonna send back to the user um, whatever it's critiquing it about. So at some point it says to enhance the overall quality of the writing, it could benefit from more detailed exploration. Okay, and then that conversation is done. That conversation is done because we also said to a max turn of one. So now the user is gonna talk back to the writer, then it kind of sends what the critic said back to the writer. Then the writer to the user is going to give an update and then we're done. And if you just wanted to see what the difference was, so here on the left is when the writer initially created a blog post and then after the critic from the nested chat gave its response, here is the revised copy that the writer created. This was a quick video on how to use nested chats, which is another way to orchestrate all of your agents talking to each other. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or if you're interested in learning more, because you can go in more depth about the nested chats, leave a comment below, give me your thoughts on what you think about it. We are almost finished with the third quarter of the challenge and we're gonna start the last quarter. So I would love to hear what you think. Here's some of our videos on Autogen and the playlist. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.